the agriculture sector dipped to its lowest performance in years, contracting by 0.2% in 2021 amid unfavorable weather conditions. This is according to latest data released by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics in this year's economic survey. Dennis Otieno reports. Latest data from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, indicates the sector contracted to negative 0.2% in 2021, from 5.2% recorded in 2020. The dismal performance is attributed to poor weather conditions, which resulted in reduced crop and livestock production. According to the Met Department, most parts of the country experienced depressed rainfall during the long and short rain seasons last year. The production of maize, which is the country's staple food, dropped to 36.7 million bags, representing a 12.8% drop when compared to 2020. Beans production decreased by 14% to hit 7.4 million bags during the period. The ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia is expected to worsen the situation going forward. The region also produces significant amount of grain, grains, particularly wheat. And therefore, with the restriction and the challenges around that place, the situation might even get harder uh, for us and for the globe. Tea production declined by 5.6%, coffee 6%, and sugarcane 14.3%. In the livestock sector, however, raw milk production increased 17.2% to hit 801.9 million liters, while processed milk and cream production went up 11.5% to hit 510.5 million liters. Some good news, though, as earnings from horticultural exports increased to 157.7 billion shillings in 2021, from 150.2 billion shillings in 2020. Tea netted 126.1 billion shillings from 122.2 billion shillings a year earlier. Much as we have uh, low productivity in a number of, uh, for, for a number of crops here, the marketed uh, production in terms of value went up. Overall, there was a 4.3% increase in the value of marketed agricultural production to 527 billion shillings in 2021. In addition, the sector as a whole contributed 22.4% of the country's gross domestic product in 2021. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.